According to the World Tourism Organization, UNWTO, over the past six decades, tourism has experienced continued expansion and diversification to become one of the largest and fastest growing economic sectors in the world. Here in Lagos, the state government has identified tourism, arts and culture as a veritable platform to improve revenue generation, ensure the state remains the tourism hub of the nation and situate R as one of the five tourism destinations in Africa. In so many ways, Governor Kiyomi Ambode and the state's Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture have put in place various mechanisms to showcase their seriousness by giving the sector the attention it deserves. I want to dream 20 years ahead of my time so that when I go and sleep, people can actually say, you know what, some people saw Lagos of tomorrow. I want to see a Lagos of tomorrow. And that's why most of the things that we're doing, they seem to be having reform process around it where people just believe that things can happen. This attention is in active collaboration with the private sector to make Lagos appealing and tourist friendly. To showcase cultural heritage and open theater presentation at the Terra Culture Arena in Victoria Island and the Freedom Park Marina. The Nike Center for Art and Culture in Lekki can be explored for the hidden treasures in Nigeria's ancient tradition, values and symbols. The 78-hectare natural resource, the Lekki Conservation Center, is not left out. This center has a 401-meter-long canopy walkway, the longest in Africa. There abound in Lagos the highest number of comfortable hotel rooms in any West African city, ranging from the prestigious five-star Eco Hotels and Suites to Radisson Blue, Pro T, Sheraton, Best Western, Hotel Ibis, and the state-owned Jubilee Chale in Ekwe. To complement these hotels are exotic leisure and waterfronts like Lacampine Tropicana and the Nobi Grand Resort set on the banks of Lagos Lagoon and the Atlantic Ocean. This is an attestation that with their potentials as a coastal city, tourists can harness the waterways as a new gateway to discover the town on the lagoon from Ikorodu to the mainland and all the way to Ekwe and Badagri. Cable Network News CNN, in one of its report, says the best water for scuba diving exists in Lagos. The state is transforming the historical town of Badagri with the massive renovations for the Badagri Heritage Museum, the Lekete Slave Market, point of no return seafront with the attenuation well and the tourism information center just completed. Just as Ekwe is now emerging as a must-visit town with the recent completion of the Jubilee Charlie, where the first Lagos Kano Economic Summit was held this February. In other parts of Lagos are symbolic art statues, monuments, drawings and the regeneration of under bridges showcasing the culture, heritage and artistic nature of the people of Lagos. While the old Glover Memorial Hall is being renovated, an ongoing land reclamation by the foot of the lagoon at Owuro is going to produce a whole new entertainment town with water aquarium, cinemas, theatres and hotels, plus a jetty. The Johnson, Jakonde and Tenumbu, the JJT Park and other recreation parks, as well as the Apapa Amusement Park, are well positioned for the kids. Like a popular saying, Echo for show. The best entertainment shows happen in Lagos, always ready to wow domestic and international visitors. From celebration to Rhythm Unplugged to David Doe or Lamy Day, Wiz Kid, Femi Kuti shows to the Kalakuta Queens, the Lagos Street Carnival and the One Lagos Fiesta. 
the highest number of cinema screens in any West African state is in Lagos, from IMAX to Ozone, Genesis and Silverbird, just as Lagos is the birthplace of filmmaking industry, Nollywood, the hub of motion picture and preferred destination for film locations. And to promote live theatre, the state is building six art theatres across the state. The state is the fashion capital of West Africa with the three biggest shows and other shows like Afrima, Ama, Afrif, Aquaba Travel Market and ArtX. Sports tourism is also on the increase with the Lagos City Marathon now listed on the global calendar. Lagos is emerging as the capital of spiritual tourism as more foreigners troop in to attend church services and crusades. The state is creating a cultural hub out of the Oniko Marina Axis with a new Lagos Museum already supported by Ford Foundation coming in between the old Presidential Lodge, the Lagos Heritage Center for Leadership and the old Governor's Lodge, the Lagos Historical Center with an Ayo statue at 70 feet planned to be the second tallest monument in West Africa when completed, as well as the regeneration of the J.K. Randall Hall that will now be known as J.K. Randall Center for Yoruba Culture and History. But the new J.K. Randall Center will do a lot more. It will consist of an exhibition center, a library that will host books and artifacts and things that have to do with the origin of the Yoruba race up to the present day. Lagos will give you a reason to spend an extra day or two on your way in or out of the state through carefully planned tour packages, more so now that the state has released a calendar of arts and culture events for 2018 to assist to stay for additional 24 to 48 hours just to discover our town. Beautiful, um, effervescent, energetic, relentless, restless, but fun. We're number one when it comes to entertainment, when it comes to huge concerts, when it comes to um, the heart, the core of film industry, as far as Nollywood is concerned, and this is the home of Afrobeat. So this is what Lagos has got to offer to any visitor, and indeed to those who are here who have not seen the glory, the beauty, what Lagos has to offer as far as fun is concerned. Lagos is ever more committed to the promotion of tourism, driving tourism with art and entertainment, preserving culture and heritage, and giving opportunities for artists and businesses within the creative economy to flourish.